Hi, welcome to the Java programming tutorial. Um, the last tutorial we made a list, and the list is here. And this was a string, and we added a string to the list, and it was a string of strings, and each one of these is a separate string. Now, there's an action listener that we used called list um, selected listener, and so it activates every time you select one of these and all we've done was put one string put everything just the same string but each one of these items can be a separate can be a separate string a separate piece of code to do something different what I'm going to show you is we've used we, we've looked at the file class in past tutorials where we've been able to delete files create files change directory and all sorts of different things. Um, we're going to use that to display the files here. Just like we've got an Eclipse, it's not going to look as good as that, but we can make it look as good as that. And it's not that difficult. Um, but the most important thing to know is this is a list. And so, so we can actually do this. Um, we could make a word document and we could have like a list at the side where we navigate through the list to get to the file that we want to get to easy enough and so what I'm going to do is show you that what we've done right, that's uh, the list that we had I'm going to change this I'm going to show you what we've done I create, I imported imported, see if we can see the imports I imported Java IO file so we can use the file class. That's important. And then what we've done is we used the file class, created an instance of it, and that's a constructor. Past the constructor, the C drive, it's not going to go back to the very beginning of C drive, it's going to go to where we are. But we can't go wherever we want it to go. And so so we're not creating a in a class with a nominous class. We are actually going to access it. So we've given a name and we just said DIR, which is DOS for directory. And um, that's what we use for directory and DOS. And so we created a string and we called the string folders and files. And what that string's going to equal is DIR has got a method to all the stuff inside that directory into a wrist the files as well and that's what this is going to hold and so so that's us created um, a string to add to the list and what will be added to the list is the folders and files in the directory and so if we go back down we can find it back up is it here we created a string um, name and this is the strings we we put in that. Um, what well that's the strings we put in the the wrist. And so name was passed here. So if we change that to the name of that file, um, and it'll be like it was called folder and and files, I think. That's what it was called. No, nope. we'll go back up and we'll see what it was called. Folders and files. Okay, that's it called now. No, that list has got the files and folders um, from this directory here. And so if we save and run the program, and you'll see. These three are three hidden files with a dot. It starts at the f dot, that means it's hidden files. So you don't see these files. But you'll see this one, you'll see this one, you'll see this one, you'll see this one. I don't think you see the bin one for some reason. But that's because it's a DOS hidden file, it'll have a tribute hidden on it. And so, and the Eclipse is not showing it. It can be the Eclipse code as well. So we've got the data.txt image and the source 
and you'll see that's what we've got here the data dot text image and the source this one's hidden um, and the tutorial that's a directive and they're not sure it's not shown that part of it and so if we go back to here and say what we've got here is every single one of these is attached to the list selected um, listener and so what we can do is we can actually um, put the code in for each one of these and so I think I'll do that just to show you because what we can do is we can have a list on a list we're not going to do that now so when you click on that directory if it's a directory the list inside that we put onto it will show the files and folders inside um, that folder and then the folders inside I can have a list attached to them to show the files and folders and so what you end up you end up with something like you see is in commonplace all the files and folders so there's a folder in there we can go to that folder and we can navigate through a, a file system and so if I go down to the bottom that's the action listener um, value changed and this selection event and so we just put that there in, but we could actually um, test test to see um, what was the name of the string and so if the name of the string let's see was source then we could actually put something out for source I'm not going to do that now but that's what I'm just showing you so we can do all the things with lists this you may think oh that's not very important but it's very important because we use lists all the time we just don't realize that that this is a list that's a folder and it shows you it allows you to see everything inside it and that that's a list there and so we can actually do that and we can make it as look as good as that and it's not all that difficult but we just go one stage at a time so i hope that's been of some use and thank you for your time